Hi, I'm Annika welcoming you to another Date Camp Coaching Clinic. I'm the Love Recovery Coach with Date Camp and today I'm going to give you some tips about how to stop sabotaging your dating life. Frustration with dating is common these days and I know how disappointing it is to want so badly to share your life with someone special but to keep going on bad dates or ending up in relationships that don't go where you hoped they would. So for the next few minutes, I want to invite you to consider what needs to shift in order to get different results. Hint, it might be you. So get ready to shed some light on some things you have control over when you're dating. There's a quote that is widely attributed to Anais Neen that says, we do not see things as they are, we see them as we are. So tip number one, adopt an attitude of genuine curiosity. Seeing things as we are means that our perspective on life shapes how we view every interaction each and every minute. I see a lot of people looking for love that are carrying around baggage from failed relationships or negative past experiences. The problem is, if you let those expectations greet the people you're dating, you're going to be proven right over and over again. Experiment with the people you meet by adopting an innocent desire to be open and learn. What is there to appreciate about this person? Make sure to spend some time with your favorite coach to get closure on your past negative experiences. That way, you'll come into the dating world with a clean slate. Tip number two, question the things you hold to be true. So often I hear, there are no good men out there, or all women are crazy, or I'm too old to date anymore. These are classic examples of truths you hold to be self-evident that directly impact how you behave with the people you meet. But is there anything that's really that black and white? There are countless stories of love in unexpected places and at unexpected times. Working on these beliefs with a coach can help you stay open to the options that are out there. Tip number three, give up the agenda. When people have an idea in their head of how it's supposed to be, they miss out on opportunities to fall in love in new ways. And it's awful to date someone who isn't really present with you, but is trying to mold you into their idea of a perfect partner. Training yourself to be present takes practice and coaching, but you'll find yourself enjoying your dating experience more, which has a clarifying forward momentum itself. Remember, our relationships are mirrors of who we are. Be the fabulous, open-minded, present you, and they won't be able to get enough of you. For more tips, visit the Date Camp Learning Center at datecamp.tv, check out the Love Recovery Coach on Facebook, or drop me a line to get free stuff at recoverlove.com. See you there.